I rewatched Tombstone uh, because I made an appearance on the Val cast, which we have discussed in the show before. Joe did one as well. It is actually called yeah. We Love Val is the name of the podcast. Mm-hmm. And it is hosted by Mike Greenwood. Had a super fun time chatting with him. Nice guy. Nice guy. Uh, it looks like the podcast just started posting and airing. So I assume it will. Uh, my and Joe's episode will appear in the coming weeks or months. But uh, yeah, I discussed Tombstone. So I rewatched it. It's fantastic. You know, and we we discussed a little bit on that show, the kind of troubled history of it, where the guy who wrote it was going to direct it. He got fired a month into production. Kurt Russell said, I'm going to direct this thing. Can we get a ghost director who we can just put on the thing so that when studio execs come by, they think there's a professional director here, but I'm going to direct it. They'd be too nervous to let me do it, but I'm going to do it. So apparently most of Tombstone was directed by Kurt Russell, which is crazy. Yeah. George P. Cosmatos is the guy who's credited as the director, the father of the guy who directed Mandy. Uh, and he was like on set, but apparently didn't do too much. And look, whoever did it, it's kind of like the poltergeist mystery. What was it? Spielberg was it Tobey hoops, but it's a really, really good Western. I think one of the best Westerns made in the nineties, um it's not on a level of unforgiven i'm not even sure it's up there with quick and the dead but tombstone is great it's very old-fashioned in a really good way uh kilmer does steal the picture he's great as doc holiday fun fact for you joe Mm -hmm. willem dafoe was cast as doc holiday and as they were about to start shooting the studio said no because he had been in last temptation of christ seven years prior (laughs) They were like, he's too controversial. It's a different world, man. Different time. Defoe would have been great, too. Um, but Kilmer is really good in it. Russell's I mean, that role made, it. I feel like that role made Kilmer. So that was for good. sure. It, it it definitely let everybody know, OK, this guy's a great actor. I also uh, Mike sent me a clip of Siskel and Ebert where they were talking. They were both loved the movie, but they were talking about how annoyed they were that they had to chase it down because the studio wasn't screening it for critics movie's gone on to become one of the few classic westerns of the 90s yeah even back then they were pulling the bullshit with the screenings uh it's great every little part down to billy bob thornton as a much he's much heavier in the movie but down to him as like a a drunk annoying gambler i almost expected pesci to come in and stab him (laughs) it's a very similar scene to casino but um Yeah, down to the smallest part, you recognize everybody. It's like there's an old man with three lines and it's Charlton Heston. You know, it's like that Wayne's World 2 joke. It's just super overcast in a great way. You got Bean and you got uh, Bill Paxton. You got Sam Elliott. Uh, It's it's a great movie. The only thing that doesn't work is the Dana Delaney subplot where he's Russell's cheating on his wife because she's a drug addict with Dana Delaney. It's it's awful. But uh, everything else is great. Check it out if you never saw it. Tombstone. 